Hello Anna, hello everybody. Um, I've seen all these videos and I thought that I would uh, give another input from another perspective. Um, my name's Greg, I'm 42. I am a quality control engineer working down in the south of Spain. I've got a family here now. Um, working in Cadiz. I've been working building these jackets for the wind turbines to go into the sea for the new generation electricity and what you guys are experiencing over in the UK I don't think it's anything like what the Spanish people are experiencing over here the after the lockdown we went back to work people don't want to go near you they don't want to touch your hand eventually got a few colleagues to actually shake my hand um, then the, the social distancing came into the shops, you had to wear gloves. Then that changed to just social distancing and eventually asking you to wear masks. Then the masks became mandatory. And now it's mandatory in, in, as soon as you leave your house basically to live in Spain, um, to put a mask on, sorry, in Spain. So down in the south, they're, they're quite relaxed about it, it's not too bad, but I've actually just come up, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I've left my job um, a month before the contract because I would not wear a mask on site. Working in, in the heat and it just didn't feel right. Everybody else wearing masks, it was quite difficult. So I spoke to my colleagues, which are a really good bunch of guys, they sort of, trying to explain to people my perspective what I've read and studied and researched um, through the three months of lockdown and some of them sort of come around but I mean it's, it's quite a world world shift for, for a lot of people so a lot of people deny it obviously um, but I left my work a month early because I felt like I was putting my company in sort of a bad situation that I was <laughs> the foreigner, not wanting, you know, being the rebel or whatever. But also, I've got a five-year-old son with a, a Spanish wife who works in, in um, the prison service. So she's she's got a secure job here, so we can sort of move away, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, but I don't want my son to, to see all this, basically, so um, we've come up north to see her family. Um, and we're going to be going back to Scotland, just me and my son for six weeks. Hopefully this will sort of ease off. Um, but up here in the north of Spain, it's not a, a, as relaxed at all. Not relaxed at all. I mean, you go out and it's just like faceless people. I just uh, What made me make this video is I've just been to buy a skipping rope at the, the local um, shopping centre and I went in with the mask in my hand everybody masked up and the security card came up to me and asked me to put my mask on so I put my mask on and I, I went to the sports shop they didn't have it and I sort of started to hyperventilate a little bit so I was left the shop and then started to try to leave the shopping center to sort of move my mask down to my chin and then he had phoned another security guy and then they, they basically tried, tried to corner me <laughs> and i managed to get down to the car park but they'd already called the police so i had to speak to the police give all my details and they're probably going to give me a uh, hundred euro fine so four minutes i've got a nine minute window here so, well, I'm 42, I've been doing this for 10 years. Before that, I was um, living, when I was living in Scotland, I was a medical student um, in Dundee University. I did the first two years. I did a year HNC biotechnology. Um, then I did biomedicine after that. I actually worked in the, the research lab in Dundee University using the PCR technique to make um, insulin using E. coli and so, so 
that sort of concerns me a little bit, how they're presenting this as a test for the virus when it's not really, they're just looking for a couple of proteins, which when they, what I understand, they're not even putting into a centrifuge to separate the virus, your, your blood, the plasma and everything, so these positives can, can come out, well, falsely. So that's that bit done. I'm trying to get through this and remember what I was wanting to say. I mean, over here, I've seen old ladies sort of collapse against shop windows with the the um, masks on. I've um, last night waiting for my wife at a tapas bar, having a, a glass of wine, and I heard I overheard um, a lady speaking to a friend, saying her friend can come up because she's. She went to the doctor for stress under the COVID um, situation and now she's got um, partial face paralysis. So, I mean, it's good to hear normal people talking and uh, putting their stories out there. And God bless you all. And there's a lot more I can say, but I'll just keep it short. Bye-bye.